Here we are in our QuickBooks Online test company file. We started up in a prior presentation. Remembering we're in the accountant view as opposed to the business view. You can toggle between the two views by going to the cog up top, switching the view down below, duplicating some tabs to put our reports in, right click in the tab to do so, duplicate. Right click in the duplicated tab to duplicate. Back to the tab to the middle, Go into the reports on the left hand side. We're going to open the balance sheet report and then tab to the right. Reports on the left hand side. This time the profit and loss report. Closing the hamburger. Changing the range. 010125 to 06325. And let's see this on a month by month side by side. Running it. There we have it. Let's go back to the tab to the middle. Close up the ham boogie, change the range, 010125 to 06325. And let's see this by classes, give it a classy look to it. Run it, there we have it. Back to the tab on the left. We're gonna go down to the projects. We're currently working on project number two, closing up the ham boogie. Let's recap what we have done in our Excel worksheet, which is a little bit more transparent. We have uh, sent out a, a estimate. We did the estimate and then we have been billing the client. We've been billing the client based on the billing schedule that we agreed upon, even though we don't know exactly what's going to happen on the work side of things. And then we've been doing the work over here and actually giving, getting our cost of goods sold calculations as they happen. And then We've been using this calculation for a percentage of completion type of method to calculate the revenue so we can record the revenue based on the percentage of completion concept rather than based on our billing uh, cycle that we're going to have for the clients. Let's go ahead and un, un green that one. All right, so now we're moving on to month number four and we're going to say that we're going to do another have our actual expenses, the material labor overhead that we are expending this month. I'm just going to do the same thing, making up basically some numbers here for our expenses. Let's say we have 10, let's say, let's say 11,000 this time. So it's a little bit different. 11,000, 3,000 for the labor, 201 for the overhead. I'm going to sum that up, sum it up. That comes out to the 14201. And then we're going to use that to figure basically what we should recognize based on our percent completion. But first, let's just record this. So I'm going to say, all right, let's record that and record it over here. So I'm going to say, all right, that means we're on we're on number 415 now. Cost of goods sold is going to be going up by the total of our material labor and overhead 14201 and the other side we're just going to say we're paying with it paying for it <laughs> and that's going to go to the checking account let's record this out i'm going to go to my cost of goods sold in v9 f2 plus f2 we'll pick up that 14201 and then go on up to the checking account checking account f2 plus f2 and we'll pick up that 14201 on the negative side puts us back in balance here and now we've recorded our costs we have not yet recorded the revenue therefore on the net income we have a loss at this point in time let's do that that same thing over here in uh in quickbooks so if i go to quickbooks when when these actual expenses happen i'm in project two i'm going to enter and expense i'm just going to record all of them in one lump sum obviously they would probably be happening you know throughout the month and so on but this is going to happen on 415 that looks good i'm going to use the items to record these because that allows us to pull them over to the billable item side rather easily and i'm going to say that we have uh, materials that's description over here materials which we said was did i say ten thousand again what did i say over here what did i say i said eleven thousand to switch things up i remember i remember now now we're also going to make it billable now the billable items we marked up 30 percent 
And when I make it billable, I'm gonna pull it into an invoice, but not so that I can give that invoice to a client so that we can record the revenue based on our percentage method here. So in other words, my markup over here was 30%. So if this is my total cost, I can take for this month, I can take this cost divided by my total revenue. And that would be the, and I'm, and I'm gonna format paint this down home tab format paint. That would be our percent that we would of the revenue we should recognize using this concept. So I'm going to say, all right, then, then I'm going to take the 100,000 of revenue. Hold on a second. That's not quite right. Let me do that again. <laughs> this is going to be this 14201 divided by not the revenue that we're going to have, but the total cost that we then marked up to get to the 100,000. And that's the number we need. All right, now I can take the 100,000 revenue times that 18.461, so on. That gives us our revenue that we would like to uh, expend. So I can, or need to record. Now we can do that over here on our invoice on a line by line item, marking them all up to the 30%. We should get to the same number. I'm gonna say this is job number two. Then we're gonna have labor, labor, and it was for, how much was it for? Uh, 3,000 on the labor, 3,000 billable, 30% on the markup, class number two. And then we had the overhead, 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 uh, that was at 201. 201 and there it is class number two and then if i pull out the trusty calculator here trusty calculator boom always saves the day so we're gonna say this is 14300 plus 3900 plus 261.3 and that should tie out to then our revenue 18461 that we're gonna bill from and we'll record that uh, after this one. So let's do that. So I'm gonna record this. This is gonna decrease the checking account. The other side is gonna go to the cost of goods sold for the 14201 driven by these items. And these items then will be pulling into the invoice that we'll use to record the revenue side of things. Save it and close it and let's see it. Tab it to the right. Just show us what's going on. Quit the blabbing, quit, quit the, you talk too much. You talk too much. What do you just like hearing your own voice? Okay, okay, here, here we go. So this, this decreased the checking account. Checking account goes down and then the other side's going to the cost, to the, to the cost of goods sold, cost of goods sold. And there it is for April. So we haven't recorded the revenue yet We've just recorded the cost, uh, the cost of goods sold. If I go back on over here and I do that same thing with like a, a journal entry, we would say, okay, on, I'm going to do it as a 430 on this end. I should have, uh, and, and so the, I'm going to think of revenue first, because that's the first thing that comes to mind, even though it's a credit to me. So I'm going to say the negative of the revenue, which is going to be that 18461. And then the other side is going to go to the work in progress, work in progress, boom. So that's what we're going to do 